two, an FM radio station found at 103.1 on the FM dial broadcast at a frequency of 1.031 times 10 to the 8th per second, which is 103.1 megahertz. What is the wavelength of these radio waves in meters? Okay. So before we get started, I just want to give you some context as to what this actually looks like. A lot of students have trouble realizing what a wavelength is and what a frequency is. So let me show you. Now, these are specifically radio waves. So these are the waves that come off when you listen to the radio. Duh, right? But can we actually see these waves? No, they're invisible to us, right? We don't actually see the waves. We can only see visible light, aka all the colors that we see. But we cannot see radio waves. But they're still there. And what do they look like? Radio waves are just sinusoidal, meaning that they follow the lovely curve that you guys know of from trigonometry. So it, trigonometry will follow you. Now, let's just say that we have a certain cycle or a certain period from here to, we'll say, here. Okay. Now, in this cycle, or we'll say in this total time frame, there's, it's a one-second time frame. The wavelength, which is what we're going to be finding out, is always from tip to tip or bottom to bottom, trough to trough. So a wavelength would either be represented from here to here. So this is a wavelength. So I'll just put, uh, first let's just say that wavelength is always going to be designated by this crazy looking lambda. So it's like a slanted sign with this, all right? So that's lambda. So when I write our formula in two seconds, I will write this sign, all right? That's lambda, that equals wavelength. So this is the wavelength. So another wavelength would be from here to here, tip to tip. Frequency is how many cycles occur in this time frame. So let's see, how many total cycles occur? Well, if I trace them, here's one cycle going down, coming all the way up. That's one cycle. Here's another cycle, right? And then here's the other cycle. That is how you calculate your frequency. So in this three second period, right, you had three cycles. So the frequency, and I'm going to put over here, frequency in this um, textbook and normally is always represented by a V. It's like a slanted V, but still it's a V nonetheless. So I will be writing lambda and V as wavelength and frequency. So this means that the V, the frequency, would be three cycles per second. Now, when you write these, they literally get rid of the word cycle, and you're left with a frequency of just three per second, or seconds to the minus one. Seconds to the minus one, however, you guys should know this is, this is, you know, important, that this is also hertz. So you could say you have a frequency of three per second, three cycles per second, or you could have three hertz. They mean exactly the same thing. To put this into context, radio waves are have a frequency of 1.031 times 10 to the eighth. If I actually sat here and draw this, I mean, I, it would take me days, probably even months to, to draw that many out. Crazy. Now we just have to find out the, the wavelength of that frequency. And there's a formula. Star this formula, memorize this formula. This formula is super important. It is C equals wavelength times frequency. C is a constant number. C is the speed of light. So it's the basically how light, how fast light travels. And that's a constant number. C will always equal 2.998 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. So if you wanna just jump to three times eight meters per second, be my guess, that's fine with me. I'm just gonna put in 2.998 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. And now we know what these are. This is wavelength, but the units have to match. Speed of light is always in meters, 
And a wavelength is a distance, right? So this also has to be in meters when we use the formula. And V, like we said before, is frequency. And the units for frequency is either seconds to the minus one, one over seconds, or it can be hertz because they're exactly the same thing. So I'm going to use this formula to plug in for frequency, use my um, speed of light constant, right, the 2.998 times 10 to the eighth meters per second, to find out the wavelength. So let's get to it. C equals wavelength times frequency. 2.998 times 10 to the eighth equals lambda times 1.031 times 10 to the eighth. And then all you got to do is just divide 1.031 times 10 to the eighth. 1.031 times 10 to the eighth. Cancel that off. I'm going to put the answer over here. Our wavelength would be, get your calculators out, it's calcy time, 2.998 times 10 to the eighth divided by 1.031 times 10 to the eighth. So this would be rounded to four sig figs because that's what they gave you. So 2.9908, and nope, that's just it. 2.908, and that's in meters. So that's the distance between the tip of a tip, tip to tip of your wave. So this would be 2.908 meters, just to put it in perspective, of this radio wave. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Remember this formula. We're going to be using it so many times in this chapter. I'll see you guys in question number three. Have an awesome day.